Good evening, everyone, and welcome to All Games, No Masters, the GM West branch of the RPG Exploration Society here with Saving Throw. Welcome, explorers. Uh, before we get into all of our various announcements and stuff, I want to go around the horn really fast and introduce our players, starting with Randy. Hey, uh, I'm Randy Alvarenga. I am uh, playing lots of characters today because that's this game. I'm really excited. <laughs> And then, of course, you know him, you love him, you cannot live without him. Uh, but if you could, he'd probably find a way to haunt you. Uh, it's Max Isaacson. Hi, everybody. I'm Max Isaacson. I'm also going to be playing many characters because uh, I have made that choice. I've dedicated myself to this life. And I'm Aki. I am going to be playing a lot of different characters as well because that's how this game works. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be enjoyed by uh, Amanda tonight, but we will uh, look forward to her being back next week. Uh, until then, the three of us will soldier on together. Um, we are aiming for a $250 per episode or 15 new subs and Patreon pledges. Uh, our season-long goal is to reach 150 new subs or pledges by June 30th. If we reach that goal, we'll unlock a poll where you can choose our final game at the end of the season. So today is the last day that you can help us hit that goal. Uh, and then next week, you'll be able to vote on what we play next. So uh, hitting $250 allows us to pay this amazing cast and keep content like this on the air. Uh, even if you can't afford to back us, please spread the word and share the stream with friends and family. You're not only helping us, but you're helping all the indie game designers we feature as well. You can also send us messages throughout tonight's game if you just want to say hello or maybe you know give us a tip on this mystery we might be solving or uh you know you just definitely generally want to like joke around and, and be silly with us just as long as you're polite uh you should you know do that fifteen dollars 1500 bits or five gift subs will allow you to send us a message which we will read right here live on air you will get our most wholehearted attention uh, we are also proudly sponsored in part by Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. Uh, and I would be risk remiss to tell you uh, that you can save up to 10 percent on Die Hard Dice by using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. Use command exclamation point D-H-D-I-C-E, D-H Dice in chat for links and info. And you can order our friend Critical Bard's dice set and add your 10% off. Like this critical bard guy, I've met him. He's pretty okay, and his dice are also pretty cool. Um, and then you'll be like double helping friends. Um, for everyone who's watching us on YouTube, thank you so much. Do us a solid. Leave us a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, the whole nine yards, uh, because it really helps the show and the channel as a whole. And lastly, please consider joining our Patreon now and be part of the new Exploration Society. Your support comes with many rewards like social pins, swag, merch discounts, one-page adventures written by our crew, and more. Uh, so be part of the society and join up today. Now, with all of that out of the way, I think it is about time we kick up our, uh, our mystery. Uh, but perhaps we should do a, a little bit of a recap uh, to let the folks know what it is that happened last time. If you were here not too long ago, you would have seen the rerun that happened right before this. But if you missed that, uh, we're going to help you out and give you a little bit of context right now. Um, who wants to start? I'll start. Um, cool. So, so a lot of the very beginning is uh, we started with learning that our two protagonists, Maya and Kaya, uh, are from this town. They were missing their friend Ben who they went to school with, who was sort of like the star actor going somewhere guy of their town and their high school. Um, there's some connection to a gazebo in town and they're back after receiving a letter from Ben uh, saying to come back to town. Now he's been missing for years and no one knows what's going on, but when they got back, the gazebo was on fire again and now they're off on this mystery to try to figure out what happened to them. And uh, let's see, things that we have learned thus far. Um, 
from a journalist named Beth Myers. We learned that the gazebo has burned down one other time, possibly vandalism, and that it seems to snow in May here every four years, which is slightly yeah, strange. The letter it could also um, possibly be a forgery, but we don't know for sure. Right. That's true. It could be a fakeo. Um, we also learned uh, while at their high school that both Ben and Sarah had had a crush on Kaya, darling Rossmore, uh, who was also in the play. Uh, Maya, who was in Tech Crew, found an old recorder that had little letters that Ben and Sarah were passing back and forth about how how hard they were crushing on Kaya. I have a theory about that, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Do tell. Or don't, I, or I do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that Ben and Sarah were exchanging messages in that recording. Mm. I think Ben heard Sarah's message and left a recording of his own without her knowing it. Got it. That well, we find does out seem today. like an appropriate level of high school cattiness. That, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> like, thank you. Uh, Aki, do you, do you remember anything else that has happened in this story? Um, we went, we visited, we visited a various number of places. We've been to the Cranston Gazette. We've gone to our high school uh, to explore the, the theater. Um, and we have also been to the bridge under which Ben's motorcycle was found. Uh, that leads, that has a little creek running under that runs into a little bit, a little pond where we found our high school class ring. Um, uh, so yeah, we're now on our way to the uh, movie theater. And it was yeah, we also found a frying pan. Uh-huh. And... We found a frying pan. Uh, we 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 specifically we specifically ran into a lumberjack who had picked up a frying pan. He had seen he was he had seen Ben going through the woods several times at night with like camping gear. Mm-hmm. And one right. of the things he dropped was his mother's old cast iron frying pan. I'm impressed you always, that we've you found a way really to work that in it. at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was your idea to add it, so I'm glad it yeah. worked. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> you were the lumberjack, I was the frying pan. We managed to make it work. Ah. That's, uh, um, that's energy right there. So I think that where we left off is that Kaya and Maya, our darlings, were on their way to the movie theater. Um, Wait, but of I course, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it's about like since it is now back to three people, and so, which is what the book originally said. Is there a way we want to handle sort of because right now we have two darlings and that would be hard to do with three. Right. I think that what makes the most sense is since Kaya was uh, conceptualized first as our first di- darling and then Maya was kind of added on um, mm-hmm. I think in this case it's very obvious which between the two of them is the protagonist of the twin pair is most like. darling to us all <laughs> yeah I, so I think that we're going to allow Maya to become one of our secondary characters in this yeah um, that's fine I mean and, and let Kaya be our main darling Sarah and Ben cool. agree. Kaya is much cooler. I'm prone to fall, be a sheep and follow the crowd. I feel bad for Maya. Well, Maya was cool. I'm, I'm team <laughs> Maya. I'm I, team Maya. Maya, Maya. Maya was cool. I like being Maya. Maya, Maya is great. I don't great. think I met her. <laughs> alrighty. 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 So I think we have to roll some dice. Mm -hmm. Um, in order to determine what these next scenes are going to be. But we also need to establish who's going to be our first darling, uh, who is our shadow, and who's going to be our, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, dear. Uh Uh-oh. So, everybody, I hope you will bear (laughs) with us. Randy has been Um, destroyed. (laughs) Well, Randy also lives in the Pacific Northwest right (gasps) now, so that might have been a heat wave issue. Randy, did you melt? I did not, but my internet was being weird. So I'm back. It's cool. I apologize. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, we are we are just determining who's going to be our darling, who's going to be our shadow, and who's our go- going to be our machine today. I think the last person who was a, a machine was, oh, goodness, I don't remember now. It wasn't me. It, uh, I think we had gone around. Like, it was me. I was the patient. machine because okay, I introduced so the dog. That would have meant that. 
I was a darling and you were a shadow, Brandy. Is that right? Maybe you and I were both I went, darling. I, the last one. Oh, wait. What scene was yeah, it? Because we, we went all the way back I think we went all the way back around. Yeah. Yeah. So you and I were so both I, I was, darling. The, I was Maya. Yep. And I was yep. Kaya. So that means that you and I should yes. probably be the shadow in the machine this turn so that Max can be our darling. I'm gonna um, be Maya Darling Rossmore. Yeah. The Maya Darling Rossmore. Yes. You're 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 Kaya. I think I'm the machine. <laughs> the Kaya Darling Rossmore. <laughs> I think I'm the machine and you're the shadow. It, I think that makes okay. sense. Okay, that the, makes in totally the order, does. In the, or, in the counterclockwise order that we've been going in. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm gonna be the machine. I sorry, I'm gonna be the shadow. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> oh no. Machine, you're the machine. I'm, machine, I'm the shadow. You're the shadow. Cool. Obvious. All right, and then so, the, the so the <laughs> the two uh, the two the darling will roll a d six a, a d six, and we don't have to do two anymore because it's just one darling. So the darling is going to roll a d six, I believe. Okay. Uh, I believe the shadow is going to roll a d eight. Instead of a D6, but a D8. Uh, and oh, yes. Don't have should to we tell people why we're doing okay. that? Oh, yes. We're doing that oh, because... Yeah. yeah, we should. Uh, so we, we've changed the shadow from a D6 to a D8, specifically because um, uh, because we're in a digital setting, it's a little bit difficult to do the, uh, the mechanic the way it says to do it in a physical space, which is you drop the die onto the board. And the closer it is to the center, the more danger tokens you add to the board. Because we're not in a physical space, we don't really have that option. So instead, what we're doing is we're increasing the range of, of a hit. So anything, because like, you have to roll basically a six in order to be able to add danger tokens. In this case, we've increased the danger zone to being six through eight. So there's a higher chance of us adding danger to the board. Um, so yeah, and then what I do is the machine rolls a d12, correct? Yes. Cool. So, wait, wait, So wait. we're currently I... at six And a d6. I think you roll a d12 and a d6. Or maybe I'm so the that's one who what... rolls a d... Uh, okay, that's what it is. I roll a d12 and a d8. Yes, yeah, you now roll a D8. D6 and the shadow of Drake, and you roll a D6. Yes. Got it. We figured we know it out. What we're folks. doing. We figured it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll a D12 and a D8. So I'm rolling for the time, and I'm rolling for the scene. Mm -hmm. Hacha. Okay. okay. So we're currently at six o'clock. Uh, we are not going to be in any danger from that. However, I did roll a six on my D8, so I'm going to place a, D, uh, a danger token on the board. Ooh. Noted. Damn. Okay. Uh, and then now a six on the D8 means that I think we are doing... Um, we're doing the, oh gosh, it's so small for me. Concerned for safety, I think, is the scene we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a concern for safety. All right. So uh, what concern for safety means in this case is that the uh, the time will not actually con like um, progress from this scene. We will remain at 6 o'clock by the end of this round. It will still be 6 o'clock. Um, so... Uh, you, Kaya, are walking through the woods with your sister Maya in order to get to the movie theater. And um, can you tell me what it is that you are going to be doing in this scene? Mm. Yes, but I need to choose a, a lead first, right? I need to pick a yes. lead. Um all right criminy criminy um I, I, you know what i'm gonna choose the the uh the movie theater that's a good lead um that oh, we yes. haven't actually used yet so the movie theater is my lead um i am going to go uh, i'm gonna head to the movie theater um which is where we all used to work and i'm gonna see 
if um, a if there's anyone I know, you know, who still works there, oh. uh, which would be you know maybe uh, maybe the guy working concessions is now the manager. That would be a life. Um, but uh, and then the other thing I want to do is check out the projection booth, which is sort of like you know. This is where people used to hang out and do stuff. All right, so <laughs> kind of like you... markets. So <laughs> kind of like markets. Uh, Randy, you are going to be playing uh, the owner slash uh, head manager of this theater, um, who has indeed been working here since they were in high school and has moved up the ranks. And essentially, basically bought this theater at some point. Became well, like well off enough to actually buy the theater. Um, and his name is uh, uh, Jack Smithy. Um, and worked with Ben in the theater. Um, never had really any aspirations beyond this place. Mm -hmm. um this town is his town cranston has always been his town um so yeah um you see a very familiar pair of twins walk through the door of the theater um they appear to be kind of looking around the theater has obviously changed since last you were here kaya and maya um they uh they've refurbished it looks like it's been you know modern like modernized uh the vintage feel that you remember as a kid has kind of been uh uh glossed over in like a really nice all like the really lovely like 80s splash colored carpet it looks like it's been painted and it's like orange and black and green like it's just the weird blue carpet that's got like the brush strokes all over it but it's like Classic. that's how that's how theaters look these days in the vaulted ceiling um and the scene is yours look what the cat dragged me oh wow hey jack hey kaya right my yeah kaya oh yeah how's it going place looks good i know Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So, I haven't seen you here in a long time. Uh, what brings you? I, you know, figured we'd kind of come back and hit the old haunts. Um, you know, it's been a while. Wanted to come home, see what it was like. You mind if we... Welcome uh, back. Thanks. You mind if we walk around? You, you're not showing anything uh, right now, are you? I mean, it's early. <laughs> Not at the moment, but uh, you can't just come into my movie theater without buying a ticket. Oh, totally. And I mean, I'm sorry uh, if you want. I, I can put a movie on one of the shows on the screens. No, uh, usually we don't start till later tonight, but uh, for some old friends, maybe. But you're going to have to pay. Um, I... Oh, uh, Absolutely. I Absolutely. To, oh, to adults, I guess. Yeah. Can you say that okay. Well, <laughs> to adults, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm glad to see you, but I, I can't let people just walk willy nilly around my my movie theater. I just, look, look. Totally look. fine. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out my you know pull out my credit card and and uh, and buy two tickets to. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't have a credit card machine here. You you should know this. You're from this town. It's everyone uses cash most know, of the time. I know we did 12 There's years ago. There's an ATM over there. <laughs> you can use. Totally. Um hey, uh Such an Maya, can you you mind just hitting the ATM real quick? Your yeah. sister looks at you and kind of rolls her eyes and takes the card and sort of loops over to the machine. Um, and like she's, you know, fiddling with the card and sort of stuffing it into the into the ATM. And she keeps looking at you like with big eyes, like sort of 
gestures. She sticks her tongue back out at you. She's obviously very annoyed. I see things haven't changed much between you guys. <laughs> no, I'm, you know, just, uh, I'm more popular than I was, and she's obviously more annoyed by that. I'm kidding. Um, you know, Jack, I, when did, uh, when did Ben stop coming to work here? Oh, we're, we're trudging up some old uh, memories, huh? Um, ben was last year. I mean, I, I, me and Ben work together. You know, I, I work the concession. That's one of the great things about working here. But uh, Ben, Ben last came to work right before he disappeared. Um, yeah. In fact, I think he was on the schedule the rest of the week when when the town started looking for him. Uh, it, it, it was strange. Yeah, that's weird. He's he uh he, he was didn't... always pretty punctual. I mean, yeah, that guy loved to leave. talk about movies, but uh... <laughs> yeah, he liked to watch them. Yeah, I guess anyone who hopes they're going to beat him at some point wants to make sure they're taking all the right notes. I got it. And like Maya runs over cash in hand, kind of shoves it into your hand along with the credit card and crosses her arms over her her uh, her middle. Two adults. All right. Cash. Two adults. Uh, I thank you for following the rules here. Sorry, sorry, sorry I can't bend them for some old friends, but um uh -oh. Yeah, uh so where 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 exactly are you guys trying to see around here? Well, you know you know, yeah. I was wondering if I could check out the old projection booth. You know, I mean, it's been a while since I've worked it, but maybe you could show me if you got any new gear up there. Uh, uh, you know, thinking about getting back in the game, obviously. <laughs> well, let me know if you want to put in an application, and uh, I'll, I'll think about it. But uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll walk with you. Uh, we can check out. The, the projection booth, I guess. I just, I, I want to make sure that, you know, nothing strange is happening. So I, I'll go with you. But oh. let me just lock up real quick. Totally. And so uh, he walks with you towards. Yeah, you, two, you two start heading up the stairs. Uh, he takes you through like kind of a back door that sort of leads up into a stairwell. That's like kind of like, it's almost like a false back uh, like back wall like there's the only people who know there's anything back there the people who work here it's kind of like you know disney underground or whatever um but like he leads you up through like a, a couple of sets of flights of stairs like switchbacks and then uh into a hall that's just kind of it's no longer just one projector that's here you see like a, a hall that has like a row of, of doors and then like at the very far end is like like an, like an older door that's kind of sectioned off. Um, mm -hmm. Almost like it's not really in use anymore. And he kind of leads you down in that direction. Unlocks the door, starts pushing it open, then stops and he goes, oh, I know a lot of the people who worked here like to hang out. I know Ben brought some people up here from time to time, but. Uh, oh. Really? Uh, I'm, Really? Yeah, this is where all the all the people who worked here did that. I did that. I feel, well, I I could have really? sworn I saw you here with them. Not me. No. <laughs> with huh. Ben? No. Maybe. No. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's just uh, my bad memory. Uh, yeah. Have at it. Sure. Uh, he stands and... crossing his arms, watching you very intently as you start looking around. And, you know, it's good. Most of it is just kind of like memory lane stuff of being like, oh, man, like this and that. Yeah, it's it's pretty dusty in here. You can tell that, like, nobody comes in here anymore to actually use the projector. The system is obviously defunct. And um, and maybe every now and again, they'll, like, do, like, a, a, a like vintage movie reel night. Like, it like, happens, like, once a year or something like that where they'll just play a bunch of the old shit. And, um, uh, like, there's a thing really of note in here. Lots of, you know, film canisters. 
uh, kind of stacked in like sort of haphazardly. Um, they're in alphabetical order. Um, it's like the same 25 movies that are shown every single year at the Vintage Movie Film Festival that they do here at the in the town. Um, there, are, there are a couple of. Go ahead. Oh, are, are any of them like a particularly romantic film? Um, you have a. There are a couple of like Rogers and Hammerstein musicals. Like South Pacific is in there, um, and then there's also like Funny Face and mm. like you know like uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, like stuff like that. Like really, like you could tell there's somebody in this per in this town who, when they first built this place, really, really, really liked Audrey Hepburn and has like all of them. So I get it. I mean, she's beautiful. She's a stunningly gorgeous woman. Anyways. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just like, sorry, I needed to bask in the glory though. That, that is Audrey. I'm, I'm just a second. I'm okay now. Um, but yeah, it's a, you see one film in particular, the canister is um, not quite as dusty as the rest of them. You can tell it probably gets pulled out often. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very like sweeping romance. It's a, God, I wish that Gone with the Wind wasn't such a garbage film because then I yeah. think Gone, but it's like Gone with the Wind levels of epic, epic romantic, like, yeah, like, yeah. classic but film. Better. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, we'll pull out, um, you know, uh, Fawn with the Wind here. Um, and, uh, you know, and I kind of like I slide it out and, and like look. Oh, it's the 1960s and... Romeo and Juliet. Oh, the Zeffirelli one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely that one. Olivia Hussey. I know, right? How can you say no? Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll pull out the, the, the lovely Romeo and Juliet print and um, and crack it open. And I'll, on, I want to look on the inside of the film canister and see, like, you know, it feels like that's like a place where maybe people were like putting yeah, notches, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. So when you when you open the canister, it's actually got like a bunch of, almost as like what you would do in a tree trunk, lots of like initials and hearts and stuff like that, like no full names or anything like that. But you can tell that this canister has sort of been taken over by that concept. Like there are as many little tiny hearts crammed in there as you could possibly get. And then like, if you were to drop the film out onto like back into the lid and like inside the, uh, the other side of the canister, that's also nearly full of like, wow. like, like you could tell this is a tradition that has endured nobody has had the guts to mark the outside of the canister yet uh but it is getting dangerously close to full um so um okay uh yeah i mean i i'd like to kind of look through and and see if there's like any initials i recognize you know is there um, um is there ben isaac is there sarah what's sarah's last name I don't think we gave Sarah a last name, but we could give her one right, right now. Um, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah Hayes. Hayes, great. Who doesn't love Sarah Hayes? Uh, so you do see a couple of BIs, like uh, in there, uh, all paired off with initials you don't immediately recognize. But then, if you like, kind of think through your Rolodex of like people at in high school you can maybe take a couple of wild guesses and like for the most part you're not surprised it's like ben ben was fairly popular he he was able to to like you know score a few times he could get it yeah he could indeed um, get it he could get are it. there any um anything with a dr at the end like any darling rossmores kaya or maya in there so you do actually see one S H plus uh, K R uh, uh, K uh, D R. Okay. You see an S H plus K D R in a heart. Uh, got it. Made out. All right. Um, I believe that I have learned uh, what I needed to learn. Cool. All right. So. As, as you Wait, I have up, one thing yeah. as well that I want to do as wh whenever they leave. So I want to hear what you have to say, but sort of the last thing that this guy's going to do. Sure. sure. Um, you 
uh, turn to uh, Jack and tell him uh, you've seen everything you needed to see. And he kind of ushers you back to the bottom of the stairs um, and walks you to the door and lets you leave. Um, at which point? At which point uh, he picks up a phone that's behind the concession stand and dials a number really quickly and speaks into it. You won't believe who just showed up at my movie theater. And it's the twins. And then that's where the scene goes out. <laughs> yep. And we're going to call that a scene. And we're going to do our closing moves here. Uh, I don't have to yeah. do anything. I believe I am done. Yeah. I think seven. actually I the just darling. Moved, and we're not. Yeah. We're not. We're not uh, progressing because this is a concern for safety. Oh. So, but, but you can decide whether or not you want to move, uh, the, uh, a danger token off the board or on. So like there's a, in the book, there's a, oh. well, I, I just saw this. Uh, it says the darling may choose to remove a danger token from the center of the playmat at the cost of not making progress on any ah. leads for the scene. Oh no, I would rather make progress on my leads. <laughs> yep. I just wanted to give no. you the option. <laughs> so we still Very have kind. danger on the field. Yeah. No, I figured that that's where you were going. And yeah. I was being very suspicious, if you can't tell. <laughs> Even though uh, he's not a lead, because one of the other things for those watching tonight that we decided is we want to be careful not to continue to add like, a lot of lead characters into the mix. Uh, and so like Jack, who works here at the movie theater is sort of maybe not tied directly to being a lead, but like he is a person in the town. He's an accessory, <laughs> he's around. He's an accessory to the story. Yeah, accessory to town. So um, what I had to do was establish a truth um, about the movie theater. My truth is obviously that Sarah and we assume Kaya, darling Rossmore, went and made out there. Um, but that Kaya doesn't know about that. So what we do know is, I guess that there's something we don't know, but <laughs> uh, that <laughs> makeouts so. happened and it is a little confusing as to what's up. Yep. In Deedaroo. All right. All right. Um, so I think it is now time to pass the rolls on. I think I am now playing the shadow. Max, you are playing the machine, and Randy is playing Kaya. Cool. Got it. I'm prepared to take on right. this roll. I am going to roll my d6. All right. Uh, yep. You have a D12 and a D8 that you're rolling, Max. And if I roll on my D12 below the the danger that level... That also adds danger to this, right. the mat, yes. So there's two more danger on this mat. Oh, oh shite. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, right. y'all. Things, things, uh, things are cranking up. Fucking fast, kiddos. Things are cranking up. Here we okay. go. I rolled an 8 on my D8, so what I'm going to do is roll a, a D6 to see what... Oh. Of, I only roll one dice now because there's three on the board. Because I don't want yeah. it. Cool. Um, it is a Through the Shadows. Um, so uh, Through the Shadows is sort of a... Um, you're hiding, sleuthing, generally being detective-y and being somewhere you shouldn't. Uh, you know, just you're, you're sneaking around, darling. Cool. I think I, oh, right. I am the shadow. Never mind. That yeah. changes things. Um, I think, sure, let's do that. I want to investigate a little bit more. Uh, it, I, I think it's kind of late. I want to investigate the, uh, what is it? The Cranston Gazette now that nobody is there. So Kai is gonna use some of those lockpick skills 
and then well, maybe hopefully there's not too many people there. I think she there's the only book. one reasonable option for who this is, who uh, who you're going to be playing here, Aki. Mm -hmm. Beth Myers, the journalist. Ah. Yep. Um, Great. Okay. So let's set the scene. It is now night. Um, I would say that Maya is is off checking something else out. She's like, I'm gonna go, uh, you know, check out all the cast iron pan sellers in town. Um, Sorry, I have to pause because I realize I do have Sarah's name, last name written down from last oh, week. Oh, it's not Hayes. Yep, it's Carlin. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sarah Carlin. Uh, Why did I not have that here? I'm so well, proud that here I had it. Me, yeah. the one who takes my notes on a note doc. Oh, I guess she's not technically like a lead. She's not a lead, yeah. That's why. Huh. This I'm is sure so, it's so interesting. In all this <laughs> endless chicken scratch. Her last name is somewhere in this pile of bullshit, but now it's in a new spot. Anyway. Uh, Maya has gone off to go check on all the cast iron pan manufacturers within a 50 mile radius, uh, which will take up much of her evening. Uh, uh, so Kaya, you are, you've decided to go check out the Gazette, Cranston Gazette, because, you know, obviously you, you two didn't finish looking through all the files and there was some, you know, there was that weird shady kid who kind of booked it out when you showed up and there's some stuff that you don't quite trust going on. Um, so, you know, you're down kind of like picking at the lock, trying to figure out, can you pick a lock? Can you pick a lock? And as you're doing it, you wiggle the door and you realize it's, it's unlocked. <laughs> and you're like, oh, shit. Well, like, not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, so very quietly and stealthily you start you sneak in all right um the lights are off down the hall. it's all yeah. very quiet every once in a while you hear like a little rustling or something might be an animal might be the wind might be air conditioning who knows what but place is dead all right okay okay um we're just gonna find that room and Get some more information about what's going on here. This is all getting so weird. All right. Um, I come to the big room that everyone was in earlier. Um, open the door. So in the kind of main bullpen area, you know, there are a couple lamps left on at people's desks, but there's nobody sitting there. So you're not like bumping around per se. If you wanted to, you could happily look at anybody's through anybody's personal stuff or whatever. You know, they've all left it all out. Um, and where you was know, Beth's? That's sort city? of scene. Beth has her own little cube that's kind of set off to one side. She's got a wall that she's up against, so she can kind of post stuff up on the wall. Um, but you know, she's got probably like a eight by eight cubicle as her space. I, I kind of want to check out first. Uh, Beth, Beth is the one who sent me the original package, uh, package mm -hmm. of like newspaper and, and things. So the, I just kind of want to make sure that maybe after talking, maybe she found some more information. Maybe she did something. I want to look at her effects on the desk. Um, sure. I, uh, yeah. So as you kind of like sneak around and work your way, you know, quietly make your way around to Beth's desk. The first thing you notice immediately is that it is like bobblehead city. This lady collects crazy amounts of weird bobbly headed toys of like odd people. You know, it's like Woodrow Wilson. Uh, it's, you know, it's Genghis Khan. It's uh, Ant-Man. You know, she's got them all. Um, so, that's the first thing you notice is there's tons of these bobbleheads all around and they're sort of displayed everywhere. But in all the hectic collecting, you see that she has started pulling out some papers from way back when about some of the disappearances. You're seeing stuff about the snow in May. You're seeing stuff about the gazebo fire 12 years ago. Um, 
But the other thing you're starting to find is um, her old Rolodex is open and it's got your at your the address that she mailed all that stuff to in it uh so it's open on your names and you know who knows what else is going on uh, gosh this is suspicious why is she looking up where we used to live like we don't live there anymore um i just uh... I don't trust this. I feel like there's something she's got hiding in this desk and I'm trying to open like the cabinet, not trying to be too loud, sort of looking over my shoulder. <laughs> They're all locked. Uh, can't seem to get any of her desk drawers open. Those are definitely locked. Um, but, you know, as you kind of, you know, you're kind of testing it out. And, you know, you kind of see, like, oh, well, like, she's clearly got some amount of security that she's worried about here for some reason. Hmm. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to pluck my name out of that uh, Rolodex. <laughs> because I don't totally. I don't trust her. <laughs> uh, you pluck your, your card out of the Rolodex and you tuck it into your pocket and you see that the next name in the Rolodex is not in alphabetical order, but it's Sarah Carlin. And there is her old cell phone, you know, her old phone number, home phone number, but there's no address. There's no other info. And it's just this, it's not been updated. It's her 12-year-old home phone number from Cranston. Huh. All right. I want to pluck that one, too. I feel like if they're right next to each other, there's a reason. Uh, I, are there notes on the desk anywhere that might have something? So as you're looking, um, you start flipping through. There's some like notepads, you know, there's a, you know, ring binders with notes and stuff like that. But as you're going through, you're not finding much. But you do hear from behind you a creak as the door opens. It's not the way out of the building. Somebody else is in the building with you. She's going to get down low on the ground. Uh, sort of try to inch her way towards the front door away from this desk. Uh, and then... So Kaya's kind of, you know, shuffling. You're kind of down low, shuffling around. It's not exactly stealthy. You're not like... Oh, no, I'm not a spy. You know, so. You're not an assassin. Uh so there's some bumping and a little bit of jiggling and definitely some rustling. Uh, it, it's fairly clear. Uh, Who's there? Ah, uh, you got me. What are you doing here? Um, I I'm, I I was trying to see if anyone was. Have you been going here. through my stuff? No, no, not what it looks like. I, I I just wanted to know more about what was going on here. You you know we came here earlier today. I just wanted to come without my sister. I thought I could get more done. It was a mistake sending you that information. It, it no, way it was your head. You don't know what? what you're messing with. You're going to find things out that you don't want to know. No, and I, I think that's where you're wrong. I, I'm back here so I can find out, and I know exactly what 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 this is. I need to find out what happened to Ben. It's been bothering me since since it happened, and I need to know. All right. I think you're going to end up putting yourself in way more danger than you need to. Then tell me what you have. If you have something, that's all I want to know. I gave like you any, anything. I, I gave you everything that I have. I did my job. 
And yet he's still not caught. Whoever did this to Ben, wherever Ben is. You so sure? Uh, yeah. I think. I just... I... I need to know. That's what it is. I need to figure this out. And 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 that's why I'm back. That's why this this thought has just consumed everything since the moment that I saw that stupid gazebo on fire. If you keep digging, a lot of people are going to get hurt, including you. All I'm trying to do is figure out what happened. How am I, like, is, did someone hurt Ben? Is that what you think this is? Look, I just know that when I went digging into all of this, life got really confusing and things got weird. So I stopped digging into it. I figured I could put you off the trail for a little while, at least occupy you. But if you keep digging into this, you're not the only one no. who's going to suffer from what you find. Oh, please, please, if, if if there was anything that happened while you were looking for it, I, maybe it'll help me figure out what's no, going on. Like, no. It, it, no, no, there's... Kaya, I'm weird... telling you, I've got nothing else for you. I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore. I'll figure out how to do it on my own then. Uh, so give me back the papers I, you took out of my, my, my Rolodex. And she reaches into her pocket, um, puts them on the desk. If you know anything and you're not telling me, I, I swear I'll figure it out and I'll find out and You too, are you trying to accuse me of something? No, I don't know what's going on. And you're saying that some weird stuff happened when you started looking into this. You're saying you won't help me, but you know something. I don't know any more than I've told you. I just know that if you keep digging, it's only going to make things worse. I only got as far as I got because... And if I'm okay with that? I cannot have your death on my conscience. And right as you say that, the phone at Beth's desk rings. Beth picks it up. Hello? So, Kaya, you can't hear what's on the other end of this conversation. But it's pretty short. It's a voice Beth recognizes. And it shakes her up a little bit. She slams the phone into the receiver. You really should go. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry, um, but I have to find out. And she, she sort of turns away. As you head out, Beth kind of follows you to the front door and locks it behind you this time, making sure nobody else is getting in. <laughs> I mean, they didn't lock up. It's true. It's on them. All right, I, I did what I needed to do. Uh, so... Okie dokie. So... I have to move my token. I believe right now... Um, Beth is in the second ring of ally. Mm -hmm. Like we moved her mm -hmm. closer. I think we have to move her over into suspect. Oh. Okay. All right. Beth. Yeah, uh, I had to establish a truth. And that truth is that uh, Beth, uh, when looking into to sort of the disappearance, had some very strange happening. Um, mm. That so that is a truth. God, it's something odd happened during investigation. It's scary enough to put her off the entire search. 
and wanting to get other people off of it. So yeah, we uh, are moving the clock forward onto the seventh hour. Mm -hmm. We have three danger tokens on the board. Right. Three more and we die. I we just want to be very clear about that. We don't that. die, but, you know, things don't quite go as planned. But before we hit our next scene, we are going to take a brief break. Um, prior to that break, we have a toast from <laughs> one of our viewers. So everyone, please raise a glass. Mini Marker says, happy Pride all, and thank you for the excellent games. Happy Pride to you, Mini Marker, and thank you both for the donation and for coming and hanging out with us today. Cheers. Thanks. Yay. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll probably back, be back around 8 p.m. our time, which is in about five to seven minutes. Um, so everyone, please get up, stretch your legs, hydrate or die straight. Um, and we will see you <laughs> very soon. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, before we get started back into our mystery sale, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out really fast to Mad Dr. Dan for the $50 donation. Thank you so much. We appreciate that immensely. And of course, again, to Mini Marker for your donation. And we want to remind everybody in chat that there is a dice giveaway happening in chat right now for more information on how to enter uh that uh definitely uh check out what the mods are putting in there what the uh the, what night bots putting in there but i believe it's exclamation point raffle and then any number between one and ten if you're a follower but if you're a sub you get up to 30 tickets in the raffle so consider supporting the channel before entering the raffle so that you have a better chance of winning these free pride dice i believe it is still pride dice giveaway so it's yeah, the last time. Um, yeah, the last one of the <laughs> today's the last day. Of Pride. No, but we have pride all year long. It's fine. I mean, we do. Like, I'm pride. Like, you, know. you, <laughs> you can't stop me from being proud all month. But like, there's one month of the year where it's all about me. And that's true. I mean, actually, there are two months of the year that it's all about me: my birthday month and then Pride month. Actually, three because then I also have February. So, three months of the year where it's all about me. <laughs> and I mean, you know what? Just like take October. Fuck it. <laughs> I'd actually prefer November. Look, I like November better. No, November is for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can fight Randy for November. I'm just saying. I would win. Yeah, Aki would, would definitely win. destroy me. It's, it's... <laughs> I would destroy you. I would. Whoa. No. <laughs> like uh, that voice. <laughs> all right. Seeing side of Aki you rarely ever see. Anyways, oh yeah, so we're gonna continue on. I believe we're gonna do. We've we've now moved to seven uh, o'clock on the the thing. We have three danger tokens on the board right now, and we're about to rotate one more time. I believe I am now Kaya, mm -hmm. darling Rossmore, um, which would I make am the shadow. I believe. Uh huh. Yep. And Randy will be our machine. I am the machine. So you have a D eight and a D twelve to roll. Yep. And then possibly a D6, depending on what you roll on that D8. I'm going to roll my D6. Pacha. Okay. <laughs> so. Pacha. The D12. Just, just sorry. Trying to refresh my memory. The, the D12, D12 is specifically is, about the clock. Is if about you the roll, clock. If you roll less than we have in time. Then that adds danger to the store, like to it the. It does to not. The We're lucky. I oh. got an eight. But and on then, the D eight, what did you get? I got a three. All right, so, so we're, we're still good. safe on okay. the D eight as well, and we yeah. also know what scene we're going to do now. Yep. Uh, Which three. is, let me tell you, it is uh, the research, research, right? Yes. Yeah. It's like the number before. I see. Okay. I, sorry, yeah. it, it, it's hard for me Stay to remember. Between. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. I I would like to explore. We haven't gone to the gazebo yet, have we? No. I want to go nope. to Sarah's old house. 
<laughs> we haven't done the gazebo yet, have we? Let's go to Sarah's house. <laughs> well, in like my that. head now, Sarah lives at the gazebo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's because there was that number, like the number of her old, like her old house number was in yeah. the Rolodex, and I'm really it makes curious. sense. And like, and there was also like the S the sc next to my name um i know for a fact i never made out with sarah so yeah mm -hmm. i'm i'm really curious about what what's going on there it's like all right so i'm not gonna go back to the hotel room just yet i'm gonna let maya sleep and i'm gonna go Maya's investigating uh, the manufacturers of all of the, the iron <laughs> cast skillets in the area. So, correct. <laughs> she's she's doing like incredible research at the hotel room. Uh, doing the light work. Uh, so, well, she hmm. was always better at the technical stuff than I was. So, so. Sarah's house. Hacking into cast iron skillets. What lead are you trying to use? Um. Well. Technically, this is, it isn't one of our... Actually, I can't do this, I think, on my turn because of what it is I'm trying to do. So I am going to go to the gazebo. We're going to go to the gazebo. Okay. Okay. I was ready I was ready to figure out how whatever lead was going to be there. No, no, no. Good. Okay. You're, you're good, fam. I actually... I can't do what I was thinking Got about it. doing. I need Got to it. go to the gazebo. All right. And so then the... The lead here. Okay, okay. The lead here is a location. It's the gazebo. Yeah, yeah. And you can tell me who to be, either someone new or someone from you our existing list. You can't tell me list. who to be. You're not my real dad. Yeah, I know. Nope. Who. Okay. Randy's my dad. Uh, I am. I am the machine right now. You guys, please respect. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, what? Sorry, you don't Father want machine. us to call you daddy? <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> Call him daddy from now on. Daddy or X card oh, on please that. Please die. <laughs> I, also, on I was also ready to stop that one. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is, you know who hasn't shown up in the story yet? Ben's father. Pa Isaac? Yeah, Pa-Isaac? Yeah, Robert Isaac. That was his name. <laughs> oh, yeah, his name is Robert. Uh, so, so at some point. He's going to be there. Um, cool. So it's it's late at night and the snow is still lightly falling. Um, Kaya is, it, it is a bit cold, a bit chilly, and a bit sort of uh, distraught after that weird encounter with uh, Beth at, at the Cranston Gazette. Um, and since the Gazette isn't too far from the gazebo itself either... You start walking towards it. In the air, you smell the scent of what smells like burnt wood. Um, like what would happen with a fire. But in front of you, the gazebo is completely renovated. It's painted. It is bright white with like some color accents like pinks and blues. It's It's a little dull in the night, but you can tell that it's it looks fine and you just saw it on fire this afternoon and you can smell the fire in the air um as you approach the gazebo what do you want to do uh i think kaya kneels down like there's probably like a grass area around the gazebo they kind of kneel down and sort of run their hands through the grass because if you know the gazebo were on fire this afternoon the grass would also be scorched so they're kind of running their hands through the grass as if and looking for like any kind of proof that what she saw this morning was real as you move your hand through it you don't see anything but for a second you think you see red uh, on your fingertips, but you wash it away, or like sort of rub your thumb against your fingers and it brushes off as if it was maybe dust. Um, but yeah, there's no sign beyond this that there was this fire this afternoon, which freaks you out, maybe. 
Uh, must be losing it. As the night is really silent, beyond just sort of like the sounds of the night city, uh, it, it's quiet. The city tends to shut down in this part of town. Um, you do hear in the distance sort of some footsteps inching closer and closer. Um, and a shadowy figure appears uh, in front of you. Who's there? Oh, don't mind me. Mr. Isaac? Hey, kid. Which one are you, by the way? I'm Kaya. Yeah, sure. Never could tell you two apart anyway. Still probably couldn't. Seems to be the problem with a lot of the people in this town. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say a lot of them probably had problems with you too. Well, yeah. How are you, Pa Isaac? Good as I can be, I suppose. You know, I got a call earlier today from Jack Smithy. It said the two of you had shown up in town, were poking around. Oh. Why? <laughs> what you got to dig up? Well, we're trying to find out what happened to Ben. Sure. Why now? We had the opportunity a long time ago. We didn't take it. But... Maya and I got a letter in the mail. And it was in... It was in Ben's handwriting. Asking us to come home. Oh, yeah. Well... Look, kid, I got a lot of things I regret about my life. And I got a lot of things I wish I could have gone back and changed. But showing up a day late and a dollar short isn't the same as doing the right thing, you know what I mean? No, but... Ben asked us to be here, so we are. Ben didn't ask you to do anything. That boy is dead. And gone. Whatever letter you got, my son didn't write that. Does it still burn for you sometimes? Yeah. Every day. When I got back, it was on fire. I can still smell the smoke. You know, I left this town a few years ago. It was the best thing I could have done. Because I didn't have to look at that fucking thing. Watch it burn down over and over again. Do you remember the first time it burned down? Yeah. <clears throat> what happened? Why? I just I found out that this this time wasn't the first time it had happened, but I I don't know anything about the circumstances of the first time. Oh, uh I think actually it burned down in between uh the, the time Ben disappeared and uh and now. Is that true? I believe so. Burned yeah. down one other time, I think, yeah, in, in between the two. It's like, burned down at least once before. I thought that meant that it happened before this first time. I've got it as before now, but after the, after the, yeah. after Ben's disappearance. That's how I had it, but we can decide which it is right That's now. That's true. Uh, how, how would you like it to go, Aki? Um, I, I can recon it really fast. Um, okay. Um, 
after the first time it burned down, it somebody tried to set it on fire again. Do you do you know what the circumstances surrounding that were? Uh, can't say I know much about it. Probably just kids doing a prank or something. How long did it take them to rebuild the gazebo after that? I don't know, kid. I was gone by then. Why are you here tonight? So I got a phone call that two kids are snooping around town trying to dig up old memories about my dead son. And they're not making everyone here very happy. So I come to tell you, lay off it. He was my best friend. And he was my son. I'm not here to compare how much we cared about Ben, kid. I'm here to tell you to lay, let sleeping dogs lie. I can't. Yeah, well. Don't let it ruin your life like it ruined mine, okay? Too late. Yeah. I thought you might say that. Well, I'm going to be in town for a few days. Do I get the impression from him that he might be lying about what happened the second time it burned down? Like... Is there, um, is there a sense like he's holding something back? He's definitely dodging the question. Yeah, that's my take on it too. Yeah, yeah he's definitely avoiding it and uh, and trying not to have to answer anything about that. Okay. I think Kai is going to let him go, but is probably going to try like step into the gazebo and see see if there are any signs of like the refurbishment, like maybe a spot that they missed in when they were painting or like, you know, discoloration or anything like that. Yeah. So the first thing that catches your eye is that there are three sprinklers built into the roof. This has happened multiple times. They are trying to not have it happen again. Um, but, uh, the paint job itself, most of it looks really nice. Like it's been very carefully done over. But what you do see is that one section of, of the paint looks a little bit chipped away. As if someone has been uh, sort of scratching at it. Uh, I'd like to take a closer look at that spot. Yeah. As you get closer and start digging at it, um, you realize that this is a spot that like probably over the years young teens had also like sort of carved initials into uh but and, and you've probably seen that when you were younger but here is just a message saying um wait uh that's miss big interest uh yeah, I'm trying to find what exactly Ben said to us in the snow when we saw him. Because that's uh, what I want to be written in this. Oh, well, he said that it was all our fault. Right. It's just going to say your fault. Underline, underline, underline. And that's what you see there. Hey, I think I've got what I need. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. I was like, I have all of these notes and they're all just like insane. <laughs> they're they're I like wild. Them very much. Wacky. Okay. All right. Um, Ooh, that was okay. nice to see. All right. Um, I was developing information on an existing lead. Uh, specifically the gazebo, and I believe that I have a theory that Ben's father is not being altogether truthful with me, and there seems to uh, be signs of something being scratched into the gazebo that appear to be fairly old. Um, and just says the words, 
Your fault. Yep. How that got pa- got painted over? I don't know, but you know, <laughs> it's there. And uh, at the moment, uh, Ben Pa Isaac here, Robert Isaac, is going to be in the top rung of suspect. Mm-hmm. So just for my uh, self, we have him up there. We have, uh, Beth, we have Beth sort of near the bottom. We do have one threat, I believe. We have Beth and the Lumberjack are right. in the middle rung of suspect. Uh, Robert Isaac and Mr. Santos are in can we the have two people top some, rung. Um, can we have two people uh, occupying the same space? I don't remember if that was a rule yes, or not. We can. That's okay. okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, uh, and Donovan is on the top rung of threat, and the kid is on top rung of friend. Yeah, and that kid was and, not evil to no one. <laughs> or and he never he. will be. He may disappear <laughs> at some point, though. Um, yeah. I have not. Well, we have to move the clock along to eight. It is we now do. eight o'clock on the clock. Uh, I missed my opportunity at seven o'clock to go. Seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in the drop top. <laughs> all right. Anyways, <laughs> aging myself for all of the people watching today. Um, I am now the machine. Uh, we have wrapped back around to Randy being Kaya and Max being our shadow. Or is it the other way? No, other way around. Yeah. You're the shadow. I'm the Randy shadow. And Max is Kaya. It's me. Okay. So please roll your d6s. I'm going to roll my d12 and my d8. Acha. Uh, <laughs> oh. It doesn't oh. sound like an actually happy laugh. <laughs> oh boy. Well, um, we're going to add two more danger tokens to the board. Super cool. Two more? Super great. We are. We are now at five danger, and unfortunately, I rolled uh, a four on my clock die. Not sorry, no. I have to roll a d6 so that I can determine what kind of uh, what, what what kind of scene we're gonna have. Maybe right. we'll get lucky and I'll roll a six. Yeah. I did not roll a six. I rolled well, a five. Oh, a memory, which is a memory scene, Ooh. which we have not yet gotten to do. No. Exciting. For the people who are watching, the memory scene is the only scene that the the missing can potentially take part in. Well, I mean, how could we say no to this opportunity? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, um, I think, uh, I think our shadow is obviously going to be playing Ben. So, yeah, yeah. Um, can you let me know, Max? Um what it is you think you're going to be doing during this scene yeah crap um really want to just make this about the the frying pan obviously um (laughs) uh, also you don't have to even be present for yeah you don't have to technically be in the scene as the darling you could all we could all you could always sit the scene out uh oh interesting uh well then in that case since we don't get to play with sarah carlin either let's can i be sarah Ooh, i like that i like Great. that so the thing that is important for the audience to know is that neither like the missing is the person who is active in this scene so ben is so he like, should be ben so i'm ben yeah because ben Got is it. the active yeah like, the you're the active player uh and so yeah randy will be sarah excellent um, and why don't we do this at um, at the high school? Let's set it in the high school. It seems like a cool. seems like a safe ground. Sure, what 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 show great. were we doing? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, what show were we doing? It was a musical, and it I mean, was yes, like... it was, but I can't remember which musical it was. Uh, oh let darn! Me see I wrote it. Um, okay, we were it obviously matter. doing the great hit '90s musical. I mean, sublet. It changes everything. <laughs> uh, no, gosh, uh, I can't remember. I don't know if anybody. Whatever, comes, whatever it is, I just imagine like movie. you know, hectic, like, like partially built scenes and like you know, teens running by like with costumes to put away and so. 
So the Where darling, the darling is in this scene in that Kaya is part of the cast and therefore uh, may be privy to this conversation in some way. So let's all keep in mind that this is a scene that the darling might have learned about later or might have heard later. Um, this is because this is a memory. This is the darling's memory. Mm -hmm. So uh, the darling is not active, but is present in some way. Maybe she's eavesdropping or something of that nature, but it is something that she would have overheard or seen. Um, Got it. I gotta think about who Ben is. I don't. Well, Ben is basically the um, the the Troy Bolton of the school, except he doesn't Troy Bolton. play. Basketball. You don't know High School Musical? I oh, can High sing School it Musical. You. Yeah, no, I I, I can sing it for you yes, if you want. Sorry. <laughs> I do want except that, that but we only play, have so much time. <laughs> yeah, except that he doesn't play basketball. He 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 was right. never he was the popular kid who didn't need to play sports. There was always that one popular theater kid who like didn't play any sports. Right. Someone said it's Fiddler, and I did think it was Fiddler yes, as well. Yes, Fiddler so on the roof. Yeah. I remember. Thank you very too. much, Minnie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And of uh, course, you know like, Ben. Ben is not playing show. Tevia. Ben's not playing Tevia. Ben is playing, oh, Ben is playing Perchik, who is the um, the one that comes in with all of his knowledge and great ideas and is talking about the, the anarchist. He's the anarchist. Uh, uh, right, that, yes. Yeah, his 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 love for uh, Tevye's daughter produces the one of the best songs in the whole musical. I love, I love that song. It's as, so good. As, as it does. So we're so we're in the theater. I might watch the Fiddler on the Roof after this, you guys. It um, is hilarious. That show is a bucket of laughs. It's so good. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's not a funny show. It is a beautiful show. Um, so okay, we are we are getting things put together for what is uh, the big wedding scene. Uh, a lot of this set is kind of easy tearaway like material because it gets trashed mm -hmm. so it's meant to be like easy to break us a lot of styrofoam uh and stuff like that and you just have sheets and sheets and sheets and sheets of it so they can just be slapped up like over and over again so basically you guys are getting ready to practice the tearing like the the, the breakdown of that scene mm -hmm. and just to kind of get an idea of what level of chaos like the director wants to like try it out a couple of ways so they know exactly what level of chaos looks authentic you know because like if we look like we're being careful people are going to realize we're being careful but if we like and if we go too crazy people are going to pe uh, see or if we go too wild people are going to see you know like the artifice so it's like it is time to run the scene a few times we must run the scene a few times so that we can get a really good idea and like you know the techies are getting things put together and you and uh, and ben and sarah and a bunch of the other actors in the show are kind of hanging to the side. I want to say that Sarah is the stage manager. Sarah is the stage manager or one of the tech hands. Uh, we're going to say a regular old tech hand. Sarah is one of, one of the tech hands and is just kind of hanging out. Like she's sort of staying out of the way um, because this is specifically like the set designers yeah. that are working on this right now. They don't want anybody touching their beautiful, precious set. So. And uh, yeah. So whenever y'all want to start. Um, I'm going to kind of be like standing off, you know, to the side and trying to like very subtly as I can, like, like catch Sarah's eye without anyone else noticing. Yeah. Going, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Kaya is kind of standing about 10, 15 feet away doing vocal warm-ups lots of lip trills like she obviously looks like she's very much in her own world like so if there is any opportunity to kind of speak to sarah it's now what it seems like kaya is like you know burr, 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 like you know doing doing the the lip trills and the <laughs> tongue twisters and like the big black bud blood black blood like the whole the whole thing like <laughs> Just really, really leaning into it. Uh, and and Sarah, before catching your sort of eyes uh, as you're trying to sort of motion in that direction, uh, is looking at Kaya sort of with a clipboard and, and and it's supposed to be like checking stuff off, but like is definitely like not writing 
for a moment, and then she realizes, and then rubber she rubber baby bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, and then I'm just gonna kind of head up like she is out to lunch. Like, hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm making sure that people are doing their jobs. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm making sure you're doing your job. What are you doing? What do you want, Ben? <sighs> okay. Um, Look. I heard the tape. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? It, it's cool. Because my ears work. No, 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 no. Why it's are you snooping around fine. in the booth? I heard the tape by accident. I just want you to know. I think you're... I get what you're doing. It's you dropped out, Max. Ooh, I get what you're doing, and I think it's going to cause you some problems. So not only do you go snooping through other people's private messages, they're not for you, but you're also here to prescribe what I'm supposed to be doing? What? what? And she, she's no. getting flustered around these other people, and she's like, uh, can we go and talk outside? Yeah. As the two of you kind of move towards like the stage door that will let you into like the back hallway that like leads you to the the um uh dressing rooms, uh neither one of you realize that Kaya stopped doing vocal warm-ups a while ago. Uh but you don't notice that as you as you head into the hall. Uh, nor do you notice that Kaya quietly follows as you exit. <sighs> okay, Ben. Look, I don't care who you like. Like whoever you want. It's not my business. I will, and I do. Fine. But you need to know a little bit more about what you're doing. I'm happy. She is, she's talented and amazing. And, and, and why are you, uh, what do you mean I need to know what I'm doing? I'm doing the okay. one thing that makes sense. Oh, fuck. Okay. Look, I get it. It can't be like a public thing. Who do you think you're with when you're with her? And who do you think you're with when you're here? <laughs> what? No, I think <laughs> if you heard the tape that I think you're referring to, then you know who I'm talking about. I know who you're I know I know who you're talking about. I don't know if you know who you're talking about. The two of you Look. hear like a small crash in the hall um, and like a voice goes, shit, no, fuck. And then kind of clattering footsteps as they <laughs> sort of run away. And that I believe is where we're going to sort of fade. Can I just say one last thing yeah. before I jet? I'm just going to kind of pull Sarah in close and be like, sometimes people are very different in private and in public, okay? And that's where we cut the scene. It's the last thing that Kaya hears as she rushes back onto the side stage. Though neither of the two people who are in that conversation know she was there. 
No. And <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. 20 sides to every oh. story. We appreciate it. All right. So uh, we now need to do some uh, post scene stuff. Wait, can uh, I just say one thing? I love that it's canon that Kaya is really bad at sneaking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I am real fucking bad at it. It's just like, it's like every theater person I know, super graceful on stage, everywhere else. It's just, we're, we're a total fucking mess. Yeah. Bumping into doorways. Um, okay. I needed to, uh, what, what, what on earth? I, I needed to develop information <laughs> on an existing lead. Um, and the information I am, am developing on the existing <laughs> lead is that um, Sarah was dating somebody. Or at least in love with someone. Yeah. It, yeah. That there was something. Sarah was infatuated. Sarah with was in a, it. A good was, way to also describe it. <laughs> was in something. Yeah. Something was uh, going on. <laughs> I mean, I know who I was looking at when they were doing lip trills in the theater. Just yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, lip trills are the most, like, beautiful thing you oh, could watch man. someone do. <laughs> the fact that <laughs> Maya probably hurt. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just dying over here. Continuing to break my rule of no dying. All right. Uh, so what do we have to do with Sarah? Uh, who I believe is now on the board somewhere. Right. I guess she becomes a lead, right? Is yeah. what that means? Yeah. Is she oh, I suppose ally? so. Is she an ally a sus or a suspect? I would say at this point, she, hmm, yeah. So well, I, it's interesting because is she on the no i guess she's, she's on the not, board she's not technically a lead but we could make her one right. right okay i don't i don't know if i i think she'd be on the board like i i don't okay. think she okay knows That's what's fine. happening she's like well, i mean that was a memory so yeah right we don't All even right. know where the fuck sarah is and it has nothing the, like what's that got to do with ben i don't know yeah the clock is about to strike nine and we this could very well be the last round of the game oh, oh my depending God. On what the machine rolls. What are we gonna do with another hour and a half? We gotta tell uh, a long we, epilogue, we, gang. <laughs> we 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 can end early if necessary. Um, sure. But what I think what we'll we'll do is since we're up to five danger on the board now, we'll knock that D eight back down to a D six. <laughs> Very wise. Yeah, it's overpowered, you know. But... Well, you know, we tried we tried it for a few rounds just to see how we felt about it. And you know it helped. It did help ratchet up the danger, which we needed. Um. But the danger also <laughs> ratchets in this game by itself. So, um, for those of you who are watching and want to play this with your friends, let us know how you figure that out because we're still trying to figure it out. But it is cool and fun. Honestly, look, <laughs> danger is not a bad thing, and if everything just goes ass over tea kettle, fine. Oh, right. that. You can lose this game, and you know what? We might we might show you how that happens right now. <laughs> All right. So I'm glad I'm not the machine, though. <laughs> uh, am I the machine? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was just. Oh, you the were machine. just the machine. No, yeah, you I'm were not just the machine. The machine. Anymore. I'm not the machine anymore. I believe. Oh yes, shit! I think machine. I'm the machine. I think it's Max because I'm the third one. I, right. I remember. <laughs> so D12 and a D6. Yep. That D12 is probably about to give us our final danger. Well, this is, in theory, a very lucky D12. Is it lucky tonight? What happens if you roll the same number? Um, it says... You know what? We're going to give ties to the defenders, which means... <laughs> which means there is no added danger to the... Well... Um, but I'm gonna read what the rules say. And we'll yeah, I don't know going. what the rules say. Because we're at, we're at nine, right? Yeah, I think it's so under. Yeah, okay. I think it's got to be under the amount of time. If the result is lower than the current yes, time, lower, added danger. So. Okay, cool. If we've that is the case, actually, team. no. If that is the case, actually, we need to take a danger off because I rolled a six, and that was the number oh. that we were on. 
Um, oh. that, and that was at the very top round. See, so Aki. See, there we go. We we figured we're it out. Invincible. We we're, we only have four danger on the board instead of five. So there is still hope. Uh, it's just hope. a little, itty bitty little bit of hope, but yeah. It's a little bit better than it was. All right. I believe Even I am the shadow. Uh, shadow, right? Great. Yeah. I am Kaya. The uh, great. We, <laughs> uh, we are going to be conducting an interview. Okay. Um, so this is uh, this can have a little bit of formality to it, if you like. Okay. Um, oh, I need to. What am I doing here? Okay. Tell me your the lead you would like to follow. Mm. Yeah. And I will choose a character for <clears throat> our portion of the play. If your I, doesn't choke you, let me first. let me think. See, this is this is hard because now I'm like, what would she be doing? What what makes the most sense here? Because we can also circle back to old stuff if we need to. Yeah. Like as we're discovering things. I, I think it's more me as if I were Kaya, how would I be trying to solve this mission? Like this yeah, not yeah. mission, but like this mystery. This, this mission. Mystery. Yeah. Uh, but I think okay, so she just like had that memory of what the past had. I wonder if, see, I feel like she would want to go to like Sarah's house, but I that's not on here, right? Like That's only if you're mm. trying to develop a new lead. Uh, I, one well, two. you can, you can want to go to Sarah's house and not have that be the lead that you're yeah. trying to follow. Got it, got yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. So you could be like, my lead is, the frying pan, maybe I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, yeah, and we can set that at Sarah's house. <laughs> I just don't know how I'm going to develop information on the frying pan at Sarah's house. Don't worry, nobody's developing information on the frying pan. That's never going to happen. Okay. We've got all the information we could possibly get about the frying pan in the scene with the lumberjack. Uh, I think. Yeah, we've but then milked, does, doesn't that make that it wait lead for all it's worth? This is an actual question as a player then how do I achieve my goal if I can't do it on, right? See, that's, I mean, you absolutely that's... can do something more than once. Oh, if you're actually going to choose the frying no, pan, I... we'll find a way to make the frying pan work. That's the job it's of the okay. machine. That's my job, baby. <laughs> I mean, if anyone has that kind of chaos energy, it's, it's Max. Uh... <laughs> Let's frying see. pan that now has been imbued with Ben's soul. I do want to, I, I actually want to <laughs> go to her house uh, but I want the item to be the scarf. Oh, love me a scarf. Yeah, Ben's scarf. Sounds good. Um, okay. Uh, I think in, in this case, Aki... I'm going to have you, because I like I like making you play um, people who are leads. So I'm going to have you play um, Donovan. The policeman. Police. Yeah. Not the po-po. Not the po-po. <clears throat> A-cap. <laughs> Call me A-cap. Uh, okay, let's set the scene. So, uh, let's say it's the next day. Uh, Maya, now after having done lots of online research about pan manufacturing, has decided to take uh, the, the rental car and drive out and hit up a few pan manufacturers to talk about the importance of cast <laughs> iron and the different um, alloys involved. I don't know. <laughs> she's really gotten she's really gone off the deep end with this, this falling in that rabbit hole hard. yeah it's just like she's you know this we got into a knockdown drag out fight or like kaya and maya 100 got into a fight yesterday about last night when kaya got home about how the pan is not important and we need to let it go it was pandemonium um <laughs> I'll be checking out now. Check out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> please. Okay. Uh, all right. She's off researching pants. Um, 
So, Kaya, uh, you have something, you know, you, you kind of were a little interested when you were in Beth's office, um, and you saw that you and Sarah were clearly linked in her filing system and her organizational system. Um, and so, and that she didn't want you to keep that information right. She wanted it. She was like, you know, like, give me that chip back. Don't let anyone know that I'm researching this stuff. Um, and she was a little freaked out. So you've decided that following up on the Sarah of it all is a good idea. Um, as you walk down to Sarah's house, or Sarah's old house, um, the first thing you notice is that this neighborhood has kind of notably shifted it probably over the past 12 years it has gotten quite a bit fancier um the only house on the block that is not nicer that has not been renovated or knocked down and just rebuilt or whatever is sarah's old place um it looks fine it's just a nice normal house like all the houses there were instead of being a sort of McMansion-y kind of thing. You dropped and that, Max. As you're getting, yep. You're kind of walking along, crunching towards the snow. I'm very sorry about dropping out here again. Um, you see Ben's scarf kind of floating along in the air, and it hooks itself on a picket in front of Sarah's house. Uh, I would sort of run over there, checking my bag to see if I still have a scarf that looks the same. Is is that my the scarf I had that like fell out or? When you look in the bag, the scarf is there. And when you look back at the picket, the scarf is gone. Okay. All right. Um, she did say strange things were going to happen. Okay, Kaya. Let's go. And she sort of cracks her neck. Walk, gets ready to walk up to the... As you're walking up towards the door, you turn... And there's a police car. Lights aren't going, but Donovan's sitting in the driver's seat. You lost Kaya? Uh, or Maya? Is it Maya? Which one are you? Sorry. It's Kaya. Oh, I had it right the first time. Hell yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, I was coming to see Sarah's old house. Ah. Yeah, this place has been like, well, I mean, it's likely going to be the last one down. The only reason it's still up is because the real estate agent is still hoping that maybe they can toss it off on somebody as a fixer upper. Uh, I mean, the front door probably isn't locked. There's nothing of value in there anyway. Uh, it's not anything of value I'm really looking for. I, I no, think... I'm just meaning that there's no incentive to lock it because there's nothing to steal. Right. Uh, understood. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, this is my beat. Um, Your beat I, is here and the bridge on the other side of town? Yeah, I... Depends. There are not a lot of cops in... in Cranston, and I switch between the two depending on the day of the week. Just for I, the change of scenery. Otherwise, you know, you start to get dull. Being in a different environment means your senses are always, like, up here, you know? Yeah, um, great. Uh, Gotta stay sharp. There's something, I, I mean, I, I'm here because if there's no one living here, do you think I could, you know, sort of... I don't know around? what you're, I don't know what you're asking me, and I don't, I don't see it. I don't see I want, a damn thing. I, I, who is... Feel like I'm being talked to by some. I don't. I don't oh. see anything okay. happening right now. Well, uh, um, gosh, it's a 
Good thing it's a nice, clear, sunny day in Cranston. Uh, but, but, but before and... you go, there was one last thing, though. Yeah? There, there was something, I think... You know I'm back in town trying to find Ben. Uh, if there's anything you know or have that could help... It's, it kind of seemed like when me and my sister were talking to you the other day, there might be something. The last time I saw Ben was dress rehearsal night before. I remember he seemed really agitated about something, kept like grousing about something under his breath, could never really figured out but it's always Maya this and Maya that or Sarah this or Sarah that and every now and again like I might hear your name like I don't know what was going on like you and Sarah seemed like you were perfectly happy together so I don't know why he was being such a jerk about it <laughs> me and Sarah oh no, no uh uh yeah yeah you two of you were dating weren't you what me and Sarah weren't dating. I was, I was like really focusing on my performance. Why, why, what made you think we were dating? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe my memory is just faulty or something. I could have sworn the two of you had a thing. Like me, me and Sarah were always close. But, well, uh, thanks, Donovan. Uh, Gosh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I yeah, no, uh, nothing. Hear anything? Yep, wow, no. what a what a what a oh. beautiful day it is in Cranston. <laughs> and what a beautiful day. As you're both kind of acting like nothing's happening <laughs> over the over the police radio you get a kind of squawk that comes in. It's like, hey, uh, we need all hands at the uh, center of town. Um, what is his name? Yeah, right. We got Robert Isaac back here, and the guy's got a gallon of gasoline. He's pouring it all over the fucking gazebo. Oh, son of a bitch. Get down all to right. the stat. 10-4, uh, 10-4, headed your way. Um, and uh, I got to go, kid. Uh, wait, I don't see you. Bye. Um, and then, like... like then the sirens oh. come on and, you know, like a bat out of hell, Donovan is go. And and Kaya, as you as you see him go off, you see the scarf kind of trailing behind the car. It's like it's almost like clipped into the trunk or something like that. And it's just fluttering behind the car. I've come this far. And I think... Uh, Instead of going into the house, she's gonna like the burning gazebo is more of a pressing matter than checking Kaya's house. So I think uh, I'm done with what I needed <laughs> because uh, I developed some information about this. Cool. All right. Uh, Donovan is going to move in on the ally. Uh, <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Thanks, Donovan. I mean, not for anything that you did. So wait, Donovan was a, at threat. Is we're he going to move? Yeah, we're moving him up into ally. I believe we can do that. You can't jump can. two. You can move oh. him to suspect, or you can but yeah, him we'll move him up into threat. suspect again. Got it. Maybe Donovan's oh. not so bad after all. Yeah, I was surprised. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh hi. How's it going? I see nothing. Hear nothing. It's like for <laughs> once, uh, the, the crappy uh, and terrible habits of cops worked in your favor. I think in small towns, that's my 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 understanding. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm from a big city. Don't, don't pay attention to me. <laughs> all right. Uh... And what what theory did you further develop, Kaya? 
Oh yeah, no, I figured that the scarf is some kind of sign uh, that I'm heading in the right direction because it's very supernatural and kind of weird. <laughs> like the fact that it was on the building, then it's in my bag and then it's there and I saw it earlier. Yeah, no, super, uh, some weird things are going on. <laughs> Cool. Uh, and I like I like that. Um, it is a continuing motif. Look at that. <laughs> am I the machine now, or am I? Uh, Kaya? I'm the machine. Okay. It's me. I'm Kaya. And I'm yeah. the shadow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm having a really difficult time keeping track of who is what. It is a little bit. It is a little bit m- more challenging. It is. I, uh, I'm glad you are both keeping up with what's going on because I'm like over here just like I have it written down and I just keep like moving yeah. like a marker. <laughs> that would be like Literally a smart just... idea, but nah, whether or not I'm smart is debatable. So, all right. So I am at a twelve and the six now. You said yes. Okay. Uh, oh right, I got to roll a die here. There are two dice. Yeah, roll something. Okay. So, uh, lower than the number it currently is, is a danger token? Correct. So, we get a danger token. Oh, boy. Ha-cha-cha-cha. But you know, we took, we took two steps back last time. It's fine. <laughs> we only have one. Oh, yeah. We're on, we're on 10, by the way. It is 10 o'clock. Yeah. Ooh, we're so close. Yeah, we're either we're gonna there. times up or we're gonna have a danger or a balance. Like, it could go either way. We are down to the wire here. All right, and then I also do the scene right with my other die. Is that how that works? Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then we are exploring a location. All right. Um, I think that I that I know. I think that I'm I'm learning. Location we're going to be exploring, the lead I will be following is probably going to be the gazebo again. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. And I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be uh, Robert Isaac, who makes sense here. Because it's to be Pa Isaac. Yeah. Um, okay. So I want you to know it's... Uh, Hmm. Because the other thing is that the machine can also play other characters, right? Mm-hmm. You right. can NPC. Yeah. So your the shadow is going to be Robert. Um, and so Kaya uh, is racing towards back towards the center of town. Um, you're on your feet. Uh, maybe did you ride a bike or some or drive here like? I mean, we have a rental car, I think. Yeah. So let's say you drove, you hop back in your car. It's cool. The rental car is being used to talk to cast iron. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, that's right. Okay. So Luckily, yes, I think, I think you have I two would be walking. Probably. No. <laughs> no, I think she. No. I think I think you're you're think you're I'm running. Walking. I'm hoofing it. Yeah, very hoofing it because I mean it's it's not this town isn't that big. I mean the center you weren't Cranston, that far from Cranston's center. It's probably like a half hour, forty five minute walk end to end. I would say like Cranston's- well, even if that's the case, I think that uh, Sarah's house isn't that far from city center. No, is, is what I'm going to say here. But it's still uh, a, a a brisk little pace that you're you're having to go. Um, when you get there. Uh, there's a, a bullhorn and someone yelling, Mr. Isaac, please stop what you're doing. You will regret this, sir. Um, and Robert is standing in the middle of the gazebo and he's poured, you know, gasoline kind of all around him, all around the gazebo. And he obviously has a lighter in his hand. Content warning, everyone. Yeah. Uh, so he goes, I want you to know that we do have a sprinkler system installed in the gazebo. It, 
you can try to do this. It's not smart, Mr. Isaac. Please come down here. We don't want any kind of situation. And then he looks over as Kaya sort of is running up. And it's it's a tense situation. You have these two cop cars, uh, some other cops sort of standing behind sort of what they're doing. Some other town onlookers are sort of back behind that. Um, and uh, you sort of run up and one of the guards goes, whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? I know him, I know him. I, I can talk to him. I can get him to stop. He looks around, bites the bottom of his lip and goes, We've been trying to get him down for a couple of minutes now. There's, he's not listening to us. If you think then you can he, reach him, I, I'll, 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 I'm gonna do my best. Like I, I, I could talk to him. I could talk to him about this. Everything is gonna be fine. All Just, right. Uh, and he, he sort of nods for the guard to let you sort of into that area. Paul Isaac, what do you want? You know what I want. I want to help you. Oh, no, I don't think that's what you want. I think you're here for your own reasons. I think if you really wanted to help me, you never would have come back. I didn't... I didn't know that it would hurt you this way, Paul Isaac. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to raise ghosts. I'm trying to put them to rest. No. Girl, they're at rest. It's done. Let it be done. You're just like this town. Last time this burned down, they just built it back up again. They gotta bring everything back up. Everything back up. Just a reminder that my boy is gone forever. Don't you think I miss him too? I'm sure you do. <sighs> I just don't know. You know what you want out of all this. I just want answers. I want to be able to look in the face of the person who made Ben disappear and make sure they pay for it. You find a way to do that. Find a way to bring back the last 10 years, 12 years of my life. Make someone pay for that. My marriage. My boy. You find a way to make someone pay for all that. You'd be a miracle worker, kid. Please don't do this, Paul Isaac. This town needs to remember what happened here. They can't just forget. I'm not going to let them forget again. But this yeah. is not the way. Ain't it? Clearly one member of my family dying wasn't enough. I really don't want to see another one. Losing him was bad enough. He blamed me for you too. Yeah, maybe he would. He was a vindictive old bastard in his own way. He was fucking brilliant. Yeah, sure. Didn't mean much, did it? It meant everything to me. And I know it meant everything to you. Yeah, well. Past tense, right? You know, kid, I got his bike locked up in a garage, been sitting there collecting dust since the cops gave it back to me. Don't know what to do with it. He said they found it under some bridge. Like he just ditched it and walked off into the middle of nowhere in the middle of a blizzard. I'll take it. Yeah, well, I don't have much use for it now. All yours. And he flicks open a little Zippo lighter and starts trying to spark it. Stop! And it won't go in all the snow. 
the wick's gotten wet. It won't light up. It's too windy. And he's just sitting there angrily trying to flick this thing and get this flint to go. Yeah, Kaya will walk up to him and just grab the lighter away from him. I said stop. He kind of stands up and, and grabs Kaya by the lapel. Let me go. Never. Let my son go. There's... Yeah, well. You ain't gonna find him here. Those answers left town a long time ago. I'm guessing about now since the cops have seen that I have the lighter. And yeah, no they're gonna start moving yeah, in. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other thing um, that I think happens is as as you sort of back away, uh, Pa Isaacs just like collapses on the stairs of the gazebo. Um, just utterly destroyed. Like this man has been through so much already. And then on, on top of like sort of mi- coming to the decision to do this, getting to that point and then not being able to do it. One, he he's just utterly physically defeated i think um the other thing that happens is um as as he lets go of you just a a a big sweeping amount of wind just passes through the entire gazebo just as if someone just took a a huge sigh of relief um you don't know what that meant but um, it happened. You have what I need. Yep. Poor Pa Isaac. That was that was intense. Thank you both for uh, for playing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's 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 not always easy to to be that vulnerable. I, I'm just happy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, what did am, you get, Aki? Yeah, I had a four. Uh, so I was developing an information on an existing lead. Um, uh, I have a theory um, now based on this that um, uh, there might be something connected with the motorcycle. And now that we know that it's still in commission, we have the opportunity to kind of get a closer look at it. Um, as far as the gazebo goes, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, we now wonder if this is the first time that Pa Isaac has attempted to do this. Yeah. That's uh, a fair question. Do I want to answer it now? No. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm going to move uh, Pa Isaac into the second rung mm-hmm. of suspect. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely sus. Slightly more danger. Just, in regards I mean, to Pi Isaac. I feel like Pi, Pi Isaac is in a lot of danger. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Cool. <laughs> all right. This is I possibly our last scene. I am currently the machine getting ready to roll. The, di- the, the, the clock has moved to 11. This, this could be it. We could either you know, manage to avoid danger one more time and hit to get to times up, or this could be our danger is a bound moment. So is everybody ready? I haven't rolled the dice yet. I'm very nervous about rolling. The As the out. shadow, I am ready, but. Oh boy. Kaya, are you ready? Ha. Ah. Oh my God. I rolled a 12. Oh my God. <laughs> we do not get. You actually get to play. We, we do not get another danger on the die. Great. Great. And I did not roll a six either. So unfortunately, we don't have any way of clearing any danger. But because there's still the potential that we could roll danger in the 12th hour and not make it past midnight. But I think. Um. So, so actually, that wasn't the last roll. <laughs> um, it could have been. If I had rolled under, been, right. an, under an 11, it could have been the last roll. But I, I think like, that we, yeah. we basically have one, one last 
opportunity. I think it's how it works. Because I think what, what has to happen is you have to successfully avoid damage danger until you hit, like, until you finish, mm. like, your 12, like, the 12th scene. Like, if you don't roll anything, any danger in the 12th hour, then I think you get the times up. All Got right. it. I think that's how that works. Yep. I'm into it. Um, it makes the most sense to me, but I could be wrong. Uh, we once again have a memory scene. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I think, I think I want this, uh, I want this memory to actually, so this is kind of weird. I want this memory to be Maya's memory. Yeah. Maya, okay. as she's driving to uh driving to the frying pan manufacturer <laughs> yes they're back <laughs> yeah yes they are. uh she's driving to the manufacturer and she's she's experiencing a memory uh based on whatever it is that lead that we're about to follow all right um okay um the lead I'm going to follow is is the ring. Okay, the class ring. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that we're going to be doing the same thing where the missing and and uh, the missing. I actually don't think the missing is going to be in this scene. That's fair. The missing is not going to be in the scene, and technically, Maya is like a secondary darling at this point, but like is still a, a but we've established... piece of information. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, but you will be playing Sarah Randy. All right. And I'll be Maya. Uh, yeah. Sure. Cool. Hmm. This is Maya's memory. Okay. Do we know where we are? Uh, the two of you, uh, and and uh, Max, by Maya, you know who we actually mean, right? Yes, okay. I think I do. Um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, uh, cause I think the three of us have kind of, uh, reached the same conclusion yeah. about the thing. So I, yeah. I believe so. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I think there have been enough hits at this point that way. I think we all know what's going on. All right, cool. Uh, the two of you are taking a walk in the woods towards the ice skating pond. And this is, this is, uh, the early winter, like it's not even audition, like a sp auditions for the spring musical, um, have just happened, and the two of you are walking through the woods towards the ice skating pond. This is probably the last few weeks of winter before it will be too warm to skate, um, and you're both walking together through the woods, um. Uh, the cast list hasn't even gone up yet, but yes. All right. So are you nervous? Like, do you get nervous when like you're waiting to find out? Uh, no, yeah. I'm going to get it. It's I always do. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you do. You're just really so talented. I love it. Uh, it's it's still cold out. Maybe maybe the ice skating pond. You know, maybe there's not too many people there. Would you like to go ice skating? <laughs> well, I, uh, I didn't bring my skates. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, well, here, I'll, I'll show you. And grabs her hands and sort of like with their little sneakers, high tops on, is sort of like inching out into the icy. It, I mean, we don't need like skates. We could just have fun. Just be careful not to fall over. We wouldn't want to hurt the star. Yeah. 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 No, I don't want to literally break a leg. <laughs> Been there. Um, done that not fun so yeah you know um how's it how's it how's prep how's prep going for you 
Oh my gosh, Miss Thornton is just so... She just has us doing so much. She said that I'm gonna have to like step up next year and take on a lot more responsibilities and all of that kind of stuff. You know, it's, <laughs> that's not what I really worry about. I'm more excited that like we're getting to spend more time together. I can't, I'll be honest. I was kind of nervous when I was trying to tell you that, you know, <laughs> I liked you and then you said you liked me back and it just made me really happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 me too. I, you know, it's hard to... Uh, you, see, you seem a little different. Like, what's going on? I, we're just out, you know? It's, um... This is, this is new. Yeah. I, I mean, I know we're, we're trying to keep it secret, which is cool, but yeah, I'm just really happy when I spend time with you, you know? Me too. <laughs> just, uh, feels weird to, you know, be yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to be myself with you then. And uh, I kind of like try and s slide a little farther out into the, you know, onto the ice and, and take a little bit, a few steps on my own. Uh, and kind of like slip and fall, and, yeah. but kind of embarrassed. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Uh, we all s fall. Uh, and then uh, just on purpose, you can tell she like kind of like, <laughs> and falls down and starts laughing. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's part of the fun. Where's the fun if it was like, no, you know, it was super easy, you know? <laughs> and Maya, there's, there's something that's been burning a hole in your pocket since you got out here. And you've been going back and forth on whether or not you're going to take it out of your pocket and, and do with it what you were thinking about doing with it. And like, there's this kind of spreading guilt a little in your chest and like your stomach is a little bit tied up over it. And you know that what you're doing is kind of terrible, but like, it feels so nice to be with Sarah and it feels so nice to be kind of out in pu public. Like there's no one around, but like, the, the, the notion that you could get caught is a little bit exciting and like it's it's all of these weird teenage hormones sort of rushing through you um, that's making you do things that you know aren't exactly okay um, and Sarah just looks so happy to be with you and every time she talks about how talented you are and like wondering if you're nervous about audition results like it's just a little bit of that punch in the gut that reminds you that maybe sarah doesn't actually like you for you like if you ever told her she would like there's this it's just it, it, it's it's a little bit of a feels bad <laughs> a little bit. um so yeah my i kind of pull my hand out of my pocket and i'm kind of like fiddling um, as I'm looking at Sarah, I'm just going to, um, I, um, I have something, uh, for you. <laughs> really? Oh, I didn't bring anything. Oh, no, Kaya. no, no, no. It's not, no, it's, it's not like that. Kaya, it's, you shouldn't have. Oh, I, I wanted to. You're so thoughtful. Um, Close your eyes, huh? Okay. <laughs> and I take her hand and um, and slip the um, the class ring onto her finger. Well, <laughs> wow! Wow! It's so nice. Look! Oh, and I, are you sure? This is. Yeah. I know yeah. you. You've been talking about it since you got it. Everyone in class was really jealous. Yeah, I just, you know, don't don't wear it out. But um, oh, right, right, because we are keeping it secret. Got it. Yeah. 
I just, you know, I wanted you to have it. I wanted you to have something that made you think of me. I'll think about you every time I wear it. I've got something for you, too. And she leans over, gives you a kiss. And um, kind of take your face and, and give you a kiss back. My heart. I think that's where we're going to call the seed if everybody feels they got what they needed from that. Yep. Cool. Um, I think that as Maya is driving and having this memory, like they pick, she picks up her phone and starts an audio recording. Kaya, there's something I need to tell you. And that's, that's going to be the scene. Daniel. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the thing I, I actually needed to establish a new lead, so this was sort of perfect. But now that Maya has given the ring to Sarah, that sort of it, I don't want to like create a new actual lead, but we now have a realm, you know, a place to go. That is a new item. Also, that ring that was given here is the ring from earlier that Kaya was like, hey, this is my ring. Like, how'd, right. that, how'd that get here? Well, yes. now we know. The thick plottons. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I will be honest. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. This is definitely the final roll, no matter what, but it will tell us whether or not we... Uh, descend into the the pits of danger or if we get a last scene to actually find out what happened oh. i am the shadow in this scene yeah randy you're the only one who actually knows <laughs> yeah. Who's who? okay so i am kaya i think you're the machine oh right yeah max is always the machine after i am uh, right right Okay. Oh my god, I have a cat. Yeah, uh, I, I, when you said that the next scene was going to be the last one, I literally went. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we either we either find out what happened or we get we get got. Well, here we go. All right. Here we go. I'm rolling my dice. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, gang. Oh, I did. I, I rolled under a twelve. <laughs> I think that that was going to happen no matter. It was what. pretty inevitable. The odds yeah. were low on that one. Um, but what did so you get on gonna, the second one? I got a four, ah. which is explore location. So we're gonna put our last little danger in here. Start it. I think and this is how it works. I might very well be wrong. It might be like if you make it to twelve, you make it to twelve, and that's it. Um, we can look through the rules really fast to make sure. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Um, it director. sucks because there's no way to roll anything but under a 12 once you hit 12. Right. So it might be that we actually well, win. But the idea is also like if you had rolled like uh, a couple of sixes, you wouldn't be at the full number. At yeah, because right? it wouldn't have. It wouldn't be. Let's see. Uh, when the time when the time tracker would go past 12, your investigation ends. It didn't. Right. So we right. lose. We cool. did lose. <laughs> okay. How did I we lose? Hate losing. Because we have too many dangers. Yeah, no, no, like, um, dangers. So we like, have to figure out how, how we, we lose. lose. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. last scene will establish how we get forked. All right. Okay. Everyone. Ah, the audience yeah. gets to watch us d narrate our own failure. Here we totally go. Totally flub it. Yeah. Um, Oh, well, we oh, may as well holy. play it out the same way, right? We'll play the scene, but it's just a failure. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's going to be something. an an explore location. Oh boy, cool! An explore location. It's um, going to be the gazebo. That's the place I'm going. That's going to be your lead. Uh that's what I was thinking. Or gazebo or bike, but okay. So first. just so that you know. Yeah. Uh, the epilogue is a brief moment. Like, we're going to do an oh, epilogue thank you. after yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if your game ended via danger abounds, the darling is no longer able to record an epilogue, and your group should decide who is voicing the epilogue instead. 
So oh. once we finish this scene, our epilogue is not going to be done by the darling. Got it, got it. Well, I have some ideas on that. Uh... <laughs> cool. So, uh... Okay, so you're going to do the gazebo as your lead. Mm, I was going to. I'm I'm tempted to get to the bike. I feel like the bike... Do we have the bike as a lead? We have the bridge. Let's do the bridge. Well, I mean, also, again, your leads can be separate, but do whatever, That's true. Do whatever That's you're true. feeling, man. Yeah, make, but... Uh, make yourself happy and at home. I just... Don't, yeah, because I'm trying to go... Uh, I think I'm thinking too much about... Yeah. Where I think I the bridge think is a good going. idea. Yeah, let's do the bridge. Yeah. Thematically, it works. I think. Okay. I don't know. The bridge it shall be. Um, and I think we all know who Aki's going to have to play. Yeah. Got to play Maya, kiddo. Uh, okay. So... Um, the situation with Pa Isaac has been is being handled. Uh, the cops have carted him away. Uh, they have they're cleaning the gasoline off the gazebo. Um, and Kaya, you decide to kind of go for a walk. <laughs> and almost accidentally i mean actually truly accidentally just subconsciously you find yourself walking along the same path that you had come down nearly you know the day earlier you walk past the movie theater you go through the lumberjacks a big backyard apparently you know you make your way down through crunching through this the snow and you find yourself at the bridge um but this time instead of walking up along top of it where you ran into donovan you find yourself down below, which is where the bike was found. Obviously, now it's just snow covered and kind of bucolic. Um, but there it is. And you stop and you realize that this is probably, if, you know, if everything goes to Stan, this is the last place. Ben was. You know, the bike got left here. All evidence points to say after this point, nobody has no idea. Kaya looks around, um, sort of takes some deep breaths, uh, and sort of it's it's getting late i imagine right is it what time yeah it's yeah. it's it's probably you know it's may so yeah. it's getting it's evening it's early evening yeah, yeah. It's, i just was wondering setting. maybe she sees her breath a little bit um For sure and sort of wants to like look around knowing that whatever evidence would have been here would have been long gone by now but um she starts looking around just wondering And as you kind of sit and think, uh, you know, thoughts of a few of the things that you've mulled over and bumped, you know, and, and come across in your search start running through your head. You know, the inside of the film reel uh, with SC and uh, and KDR, with the, everyone sort of mixing you and your sister up with all that kind of stuff. The recordings of Sarah having a crush on you, of Ben having a crush on you. You're thinking about kind of the intense interchanges that Ben and Sarah had in the past, how that sort of weirdly destroyed certain relationships. Um, you know, all of these kind of odd moments start to piece together and make a certain amount of sense. You know, and, and there's some, there are there are pieces of this clearly missing that don't make any sense at all. But some of it feels like it's all got to be connected. And as you're thinking it over, you hear on the, on the bridge above, 
a car engine, you know, come to a stop above you and sit idling. You hear a door open, and then shut, and you hear boots in the snow. I had a feeling you'd be here. <laughs> yeah, likewise. Uh, something drew me here, I guess. Um, I guess it did the same for you. <laughs> Any luck? <laughs> no, you were you were right. I was obviously fixating. I told you that stupid frying pan wasn't going to lead anywhere. Um, but I can't say I had any luck either, so. <laughs> well. I just really wanted to know. You know? I, I know. I know you did. I know you do. Maya, there's some pieces of this that aren't making a lot of sense. And um, I, I wanted to talk to you to see if maybe there was anything that you, you wanted to let me in on. I, um, everyone expected us to know everything about the other. Everybody was constantly asking us if we could feel if the other one was in pain or things like that. Like, they just expected us to, like, have this weird psychic connection to always know when something was wrong with the other person. Like, I had my life. And I had my own secrets. And I had things that I couldn't tell you. Then tell me. You're hiding something. Aren't you? I don't... I don't want to lose you, Kaya. <laughs> Tell me what it is you think I'm hiding from you. I was thinking back to right before all of this happened, and I, I, I remember getting my, my class ring, and, and it disappearing. Um, I think you asked to use it, and... I don't remember getting it back. And then I found it out at the pond. Tied with. For some reason. Too many people in this town think. <laughs> I was dating Sarah. And then I thought back. When, when, when I start, when I was listening. As you were listening to that tape recorder. You very quickly pulled it away. What were you doing? Nobody ever noticed me. They only ever saw you, Kaya. You were the star. You were the bright, shining light of Cranston High, and I was just a techie. Just a, a button pusher and a set mover. And I looked exactly like you, but nobody ever saw me. Sarah having a crush on you, just like every other person in school, it was just it was too much. I liked her. She didn't even know it was there. And she wanted you so badly, it was easy.
You pretended to be me? It's not the first time you and I are pretended to be No, 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 no. You... You... You went behind my back? I, I, I trusted you. If anyone didn't ignore your existence, it was me. I'm the one who asked you to join theater because I knew you would love doing tech. You said that yourself. Didn't what? mean I wanted to sit there every single day and watch everybody worship you. You have any idea what that did to me? No. I don't. So do you know what happened to Ben? You don't want to ask me that question. Do you know what happened to Ben? I think we should go home. I'm not leaving here. But I'm not staying. And as you're arguing, the passenger door to Maya's car opens and closes. I and told you to stay in the car. Who's that? Footsteps in the snow and down walks Sarah Carlin. Sarah? You weren't the only person I needed to tell the truth. What? What do you, what? Explain now. Oh, I think you already know. And she looks to Maya with a smile. It's kind of sad. Like something was lost a long time ago. Please don't make us do this. Let I came it go. Here. I came here for an answer. I'm not leaving until I get that answer. This is not an answer you want. Oh, uh... This changes everything. <laughs> You should have thought about that before you started trying to lie and steal people's lives. I didn't steal your life from you. You didn't want to be with Sarah. I didn't even know Sarah liked me. I'm here, you know. Yeah, I know. Then I, why don't you tell me what's going on? I think your sister's right. You don't want to know. <sighs> I do. I want both of you to tell me what's going on here. I want to know the be I want to know what happened to Ben. That's what and I want to know. As you're making your case, Sarah reaches into her purse and pulls out a small pistol. Sarah and, and shoots you. My, Nakaya, no! All right, all right. She leans forward over Kaya. Ben died. And we got rid of it. And we went on and we lived our lives. We're going to do the same thing again today because you needed to know. And she slips the class ring off of your finger, Kaya, and turns to Maya. Close your eyes. Sarah, you don't have to do this. She slowly takes your hand, Maya and slips the ring back onto your finger. I still love you. It was you when we were together in private. It was you on the pond. It was you that May with me.
I love you. Can't leave my sister. That's up to you. And she puts the gun back in her purse and walks away. Maya watches her for a while and then almost like caught in a moment and then realizes, you know, her sister is bleeding out on the floor of this, of this, uh, of this, uh, crick bank. She rushes over and like pulls, pulls Kaya close and like is fumbling with her, her, her flip phone, her 911. Stop. I'm gonna get you help. I don't want help. I told you you didn't want these answers, Kaya. I told you. Oh, I needed these answers. And I want you to know what you cost. Kaya, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Doesn't matter anymore. It does matter. No. Because now you have to live with me. <laughs> Kidding the cops. Somebody's going to come and help you. No! I, t- I don't want you here. I'm not leaving you. Then I want you to remember every day that you go on. This was you. It was you who did all of this and may it stay with you until the day you die. And at that point. And Kaya has passed away. And the snow is falling, and it seems to slow, almost like this moment is going to last forever. And slowly, along with the snow, down from the sky flutters Ben's scarf, falling next to Kaya and soaking up her blood as well. And that brings us to our epilogue. This epilogue will happen instead in the voice of a different character. We will all play that character and we will go around and offer up. Um, oh wait, this is different. Uh, do do do, hold on. Do 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 do. Yeah, so somebody is going to play whatever character it is. Um, da da da. Yes, and we are all playing this character. We're going around in a circle. We're mm. each going to offer up uh, our kind of, uh, the way it's it's phrased in the book, uh, begin with the youngest play- player and proceed clockwise. Um, when it is your turn to contribute, make a declarative statement about the fallout of your investigation. Each sentence should be short and succinct. Your game has ended, and this is simply a narr- narrative bow. Uh, talk about the investigation uh, and how it did or did not answer particular questions. What information is left unknown, how the characters' lives were changed, and what they might choose to do next. Depending on what your investigation revealed, this is also a good time to state what has happened to the missing and any repercussions for the people involved in their disappearance. Continue making statements until each player has contributed at least three facts, and then go longer if you need more closure. When you're Mm. comfortable with the amount of information established, you can stop. Your investigation has ended. So we're going to go clockwise this time as opposed to counterclockwise, but we are currently in a line. So I think that starts with me, then Max, then Randy, me, Max, Randy, Max, Randy. So. Sounds like a plan. Yep. All right. We want to establish which character this is going to be coming from perspective of. Sure. I mean, I, I, I would wager it's it's either Maya or Sarah. Yeah. 
who is more interesting in this op in this moment is the is the difficult question because this could go this could get really interesting either way <laughs> yeah <laughs> i kind of like the idea of sticking with maya uh just giving our our defunct darling the opportunity to kind of speak for herself at the end of this not def <laughs> she's she's very she is i mean she is defunct. defunct she's definitely not uh, she's highly defunct yeah all right i'm gonna start mm -hmm. we are recording on our dictaphone oh. <clears throat> my sister is dead and i have no choice i have to turn myself in I don't know what I'll tell them. Do I say the whole story? Or do I finally listen? And let pieces of it just disappear into the past? I'll never get those last moments with her out of my mind. They beat against me like a woodpecker knocking on a tree trunk. She still doesn't know how it is that Ben ended up in the crosshairs. We never told her that he found out about us. It never needed to be like this, I guess. He just had some need to be right. Some need to show her who I really was, I guess. I don't know why he needed to be so mean. I still remember the fight between him and Sarah on the gazebo that night. He grabbed her and she pushed him and the snow made him trip. There was so much blood. I don't understand why he wasn't happy. With Maya and I, with Sarah and I dating, Kaya was free and clear for her him to pursue. I don't even know why it had to be a fight at all. But we had to clean it up somehow. And the only way we could think of is burning the gazebo down. Not like it hadn't been tried before. It's a weird thing to see that snow in May again. Feels like nothing's changed. Like Cranston just got stuck out of time once he died. Either that or it just keeps doing the same thing over and over again. Or maybe it's me. Maybe I've been suppressing those memories and this is some way of trying to understand all of this that's happened. Either way, there's a price to pay. And I'm done running. And I think that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that was cobwebs, everyone. That was. Wow, that was that was intense. Um, it gets and, intense at the end, huh? Yeah, it was that was very intense and very, very cool. And I just have to once again applaud our timing. We did a, a really good <laughs> job, y'all. <laughs> really great job. Um, so uh, that was Cobwebs. Uh, please uh, get excited for next week 
which is going to be uh, Max Isaac Isaacson's pick. We are going to be playing Goblin Quest, uh, which I'm very excited about. And I believe that since we didn't hit our sub goal uh, for um, this season, next week uh, we are going to be announcing what the final game of the season is going to be because you guys are making us pick what it's going to be instead of, you know, you had so much power, y'all. Y'all had so much power. You could have decided what game you wanted us to play. But you know what? We're going to do it. We're making an executive decision next week and you're just going to have to live with it, whatever it is we decide to do. That's um, right. It's going to be all in wing dinks. It's going to be unbearable. Yeah. And Comic Sans. Yeah. And Comic Sans. Yeah, just, Damn just right. to make it happen. <laughs> you want to know what? A lot of people bust on Comic Sans. Comic Sans is considered one of the most uh, accessible type font, like font types for people who have dyslexia. That it is sense. very readable. Yeah. So uh, we can't we can't bust on we can't bust on Comic Sans because Comic Sans is actually legit. You us. right. I'm sorry, Comic Sans. My people. We, we were wrong and we are sorry. Um, you know, I'm going to throw this out there because there have to be other also easily accessible fonts. Uh, yeah, the font that we use for our captions is actually uh, uh, meant to be accessible. All right. Um, well, then in that case, I vote that we dodo bird Comic Sans nonetheless. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Comic Sans, time to die. <laughs> I mean, if, we, or if we're going to do, do Comic Sans dirty like that, we have to get rid of Papyrus too. Yes, Papyrus has got to go. Yeah, I don't think I've right ever here. used it outside of being a, a like third. Comic Sans, yeah, Comic Sans <laughs> and Papyrus are only important to me as characters in uh, uh, Undertale. Otherwise, I don't care about. Them. Anyways, uh, I think we should go around, <laughs> Tangent. Tangent. Yeah. go around the horn really fast and announce uh, and, and like you know let everybody know where they can find us and make any announcements that we need to personally and then we're going to do a, we're going to draw for our dice giveaway so uh take it away max who are you where can they find hey, you? hey it's me max isaacson again um you can catch me on uh the socials at bro sis movies that's like brother sister movies uh for all types of irreverent thinking and goofballery randy where can they find you yeah uh you can find me on twitter at roller raja that's r-o-l-l-e-r-a-j-a-r-r-a-j-a -A -R -R -A -A. sorry roller spelling is hard and r-a-j-a -A. it's hard sometimes yes um uh, but also, uh, check me out because there's going to be some really cool announcements on my page about some cool shows. So, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen his uh, his little short from The Harbinger yet, you should definitely check that out. Yeah, it's going to be fun and scary. It's going to be scary and fun. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's uh, S... Sorry, I can't... Uh, spelling spell. is hard. Finger spelling either. <laughs> S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. -E um, yeah, I will be on... Uh, Desperate Gamble, our Star Wars RPG over at um, uh, Distracted Elf's channel with Roll20. Um, you can come catch my Force-sensitive Chiss boy just trying their best. Just trying their absolute best. The uh, Hotshot pilot explorer who is also Force-sensitive and 18 years old. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this combination. Nah. Um, but yeah, and uh, and then of course, catch me on New Pantheon new pantheon on sundays uh so we are not going to be playing this upcoming sunday because it's july 4th so we're taking <gasps> the day off yeah. um that being said you yeah. should definitely come and check us out tomorrow on the channel uh thursdays at 1 p.m pt 4 p.m eastern standard time uh dom is playing dark alliance with a few of our awesome hosts here on saving throw uh the new D, &D co-op video game um you should definitely check that out and tune in if you want more information about that i believe an announcement has gone up on the saving Throw twitter um but yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a dice, a dice draw. You can no longer enter the raffle, says chat. No, sir. You, it, 
You this has been the leave. first time in so long I've used real dice, and I can't stop playing with them. Aww. I'm just going to well, be Well, speaking oh. of dice, 20 sides to every story is our dice <gasps> winner giveaway. Oh, yeah! Congratulations to 20 sides to every story. Ah, so great. Here's the 21st side. We're very dice. proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Make sure your whispers are open so that we can contact you via whisper to get your information so that we can get your dice to you. And uh, that that means uh, I think we are all wrapped up for the night. Yeah. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting the show. We are so excited to see you next week for Goblin Quest. Um, make sure you tell your friends about the show. Make sure you retweet and, and, and pump us up because uh, it's all coming all coming to a close in the next three episodes for the season. So uh, remember, you do not need a game master to play tabletop RPGs. You just need your imagination, a really awesome game, the GM list system, and your friends, and you are good to roll. Uh, we will see you all next week. Until then, goodbye.